This small corner of Welsh countryside has, for the last two months, become a haven for families fleeing war. The Ir Centre normally hosts Welsh schools, but it's Ukrainian children who've been living, learning and laughing here. Olena and Katerina arrived just a fortnight ago, escaping a life where their children had to hide in basements. It feels like home. <laughs> completely happy, both of my kids. Uh, they're just playing, they visit school every day. We travel like uh, every week, so they're extremely happy. They feel safe here. For the children, there are daily lessons in English and Welsh and a world of activities, so their parents can concentrate on finding work, accessing benefits and figuring out where they go next. The first refugees started arriving here in April. By now there's over 220 adults and children, the youngest just eight months old. This was only ever a temporary solution. The aim is to try and move all of the families on within the next month. In all, the Welsh Government directly sponsored nearly 2,500 people to come to Wales. Most are yet to arrive, so the scheme has been paused to move people on from welcome centres. It is now a challenge to make sure that we're able to get a flow out of the welcome centres to free up more spaces for people to arrive. And the next few weeks is about getting that balance. We have never expected that hospitality. Marta is one of many waiting to hear where she, her daughter and two grandchildren go next. But she says she isn't worried. Her only fear is for the family she's left behind. Half of my heart is left in Ukraine. It is my son, my daughter-in-law. But we are safe here. That is the most important thing for us. That sanctuary has brought some certainty. And for these children, most of all, the freedom to have fun again.